on the streets of Seattle a demand that should hardly be necessary in an election, that all votes are counted. In New York, they want the same. These people are anti-Donald Trump. These are pro him, but they also want all the votes counted, this time in Nevada, where the president is behind. But now it gets confusing because in Pennsylvania, where he's ahead, his team has launched a legal challenge to stop the count and declare the election already over. This is absolute fraud. We've seen it in Philadelphia before. They're trying to make a mockery of the election of this country. My father is up by almost half a million votes in this state with 86 percent reported and plenty of red counties left to go. Plenty of red counties left to go. We're going to win Pennsylvania but they're trying to cheat us out of it because they know it's their only path to victory. The president's challenges to the counting process provoke this response from his opponent. Here, the people rule. Power can't be taken or asserted. It flows from the people. And it's their will that determines who will be the president of the United States and their will alone. They know a bit about counting in Las Vegas, and that's one of the places in Nevada where it is still going on. And officials insist the system is working. The elections officials have to ensure that, for example, no one casts more than one vote. Uh, and counting these ballots is also taking time because we have so many safeguards to prevent fraud, such as signature verification, unique barcodes, and other, to <coughs> pardon me, and other tools. Uh, and so we want to ensure that we have a fair and a, a, a correct and accurate count they're still counting in Georgia. The numbers here and in the four other vital states will decide the presidency. Andy Bell, 5 News, Washington.